Cardiotoxicity associated with chemotherapy regimen, especially anthracyclines and trastuzumab, is a significant issue now that more and more patients are surviving breast cancer. The problem is early detection. For example, measurement of LV ejection fraction fails to detect subtle alterations in LV function. Now in the American Journal of Cardiology, researchers report that we may have an answer to that dilemma. While LV ejection fraction parameters of diastolic function and BNP did not predict cardiotoxicity, a decrease in echocardiographically measured left ventricular longitudinal strain from baseline to three months and detectable high sensitivity cardiac troponin at one to three months were independent predictors of the development of cardiotoxicity at six months. The number of patients studied was less than 50, and we will need a lot more information. But these two non-invasive parameters may be useful to detect chemotherapy-treated patients who may benefit from alternative therapies, potentially decreasing the incidence of cardiotoxicity and, of course, its associated morbidity and mortality. The presence of predictive markers probably does not mandate secession of a potentially life-saving anti-cancer therapy, of course. Rather, myocardial strain and high sensitivity troponin measurements may help target patients who could benefit from closer cardiac monitoring, early initiation of cardioprotective medical therapy, and could have less cardiotoxic tyrosine kinase inhibitors and anti-cancer drugs. I'm Peter Block with a CardiSource Heart Minute.